Good evening, First Church. I'm both grieved and excited on this Good Friday. I'm grieved that we cannot meet together in person, as this is one of the more meaningful services for me personally, the Good Friday service. But I'm also excited. A couple of Sundays ago, I heard from a fellow Free Methodist pastor that on the first weekend of all the churches around the country being forced to meet online, that weekend alone, over 28,000 people made new commitments to follow Jesus. I'm excited because before COVID-19, 85% of churches were plateaued or declining. Today, 49% are recording growth. We praise God for those stats. And He is moving and working in new and mighty ways. Tonight, we're going to do a short virtual communion service. If you do not have your bread yet or your juice, uh, please pause the video and go and get it. Once you are ready, we're going to begin with a time of silent prayer, wherever you are. This will serve as a time for you to prepare your hearts for this sacred ceremony. There will be some quiet music playing in the background and a picture of communion on the screen. And when this is done, I will return and lead us through taking communion together. So let's take this time of silence to ready ourselves before God.
right, friends, let us return to the space and place of togetherness as best as we can virtually. We come to the Lord's Supper together as children of our one God. Jesus makes the guest list, not us. Our family, chosen by God, is gathered from west and east and includes everyone, even the lowest and the least. Jesus, when he was resurrected from the dead, revealed himself to, to his disciples in the breaking of bread around a table. May we see the face of God today as we come to the Lord's Supper. On the night he was handed over, the night before he was crucified, Jesus gathered with his friends for a meal. He took the bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, saying, This is my body, which is broken for you. As often as you eat it, remember me. Please pray with me. Jesus, as we take this bread, let it be a sign of all you did for us and who you are for us. Thank you for this bread of life. Amen. Let's take together. After sharing the bread, Jesus took a cup of wine and he gave it to them to drink, saying, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many. Let's pray together. Jesus, as we drink from this cup, let it be a sign for us of all you did for us and of who you are for us. Thank you that you bring us peace that passes all understanding. Amen. Let's drink together. And let us pray. Jesus, through your death and resurrection, you reconciled the world to God. And through your example, you have shown us a way to peace. Give us strength as the people of God to be channels of peace in the world. Speaking your peace living your peace and always longing for that moment of eternal peace when we shall see you again and all god's people said amen as you go tonight do not rush through the evening or even rush through tomorrow take time to sit with the unrest that the disciples must have felt on this tremendously challenging weekend go in peace and receive the rest that god promises amen